and we are in line 132 B as your custom is toward those who love your name so 132 a says look upon me and be merciful to me as your custom is toward those who love your name and so these are the uh, the, uh, the customary things that God does toward those who love his name. And so and that sends us to 2 Thessalonians 1, 6. That says, since it is a righteous thing with God to repay with tribulation those who trouble you. And so... Um, And so that is to corroborate as <clears throat> as your custom is toward those who love your name. And so being that uh, those who love God's name, all right, so it says since it is a righteous thing with God to repay with tribulation or repay, repay with affliction those who trouble you. And so being that we are God's, God is going to repay those who trouble us. And so, but if we read up to five, it says, which is manifest, um, which is manifest evidence of the righteous judgment of God, that you may be counted worthy of the kingdom of God, for which you also suffer, since it is a righteous thing with God to repay with tribulation those who trouble you, and to give you who are troubled rest with us when the Lord Jesus is revealed from heaven with his mighty angels and flame and fire taking vengeance on those who do not know God and on those who do not obey the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. These shall be punished with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of his power. When he comes in that day to be glorified in his saints and to be admired among all those who believe because our testimony among you was believed and so this is dealing with the encouragement and their uh, persecution in the, in the church's persecution and now so remember that we talked about you know uh, pay means mouth speak and blow okay and so you see clearly see you know how that goes hand in hand um, with that reference scripture and then also um, with this stanza so he's saying, uh, and back in Psalm 119, 132, look at, uh, look upon me and be merciful to me as your custom is toward those who love your name. And God's going to take care of those who love his name. 133, direct my steps by your word and let no iniquity have dominion over me. So in, uh, direct my steps by your word. And so that sends us to Psalm 17, 5. that says uphold my steps in your paths that my footsteps may not slip so uh, so when god holds us up um in the way that he is having us to go why so our footsteps may not slip and then so and then, then it says in back in 119 it says and let 130 119 133 and let no iniquity have dominion over me so and let no uh, no iniquity rule over me, all right. And so that sends us to Romans six twelve for a reference scripture that says, therefore, do not let sin reign in your mortal body, that you should obey it in its lusts. So that just corroborate how uh, sin uh, shouldn't reign over us, and also that uh, iniquity have no rule or reign over us or dominion over us as well all right um that iniquity is depths of sin or or lawlessness living outside of the law okay 134 it says redeem me from the oppression of man that i may keep your precepts precepts redeeming from the oppression of man that I may keep your precepts. All right. So he's saying, um, redeem me, pay me, uh, pay for me from the uh, uh, those who are oppressing me, from the oppressive man. 
and why? That I may keep your precepts, keep those responsibilities that we have toward God. And that sends us to Psalm 174. I'm sorry, not Psalm 174. Luke 174. It says, To grant us that we, being delivered from the hand of your enemies, might serve him without fear. All right, so to grant us... Um, to grant us that we, being delivered from the hand of our enemies, might serve him without fear. So that just to, you know, to corroborate, um, you know, that scripture, redeem me from the oppression of man, that I may keep your precepts. So, uh, so if we're not burdened down by anything, then we're able to keep the responsibilities that we have toward God. And so we're going to pause here, and then we'll pick it up in the next segment, and we should be able to close it out.